The magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Newcastle United. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing. But so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. A chance to whip it in. Credit to them for winning back possession. De Bruyne. An alert piece of defending. High pressing at its best. Trippier. And on the ball is Cher. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Manuel Akanji. Rodri. Guardiol. Jeremy Doku and the challenge halts them in their tracks making progress Wilson and he stopped them in their tracks Foden Walker now Walker and a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge Phil Foden Walker now Kevin De Bruyne the ball with Rodri and he keeps going but nothing comes of it Callum Wilson. And a good tackle. Holland. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. But quick thinking defensively. Trippier. Here's Almiron. Almiron. Oh, possibilities inside the box. Plays it back. Oh, just the tackle that was needed. Doku. Erling Haaland. Vardiol and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Well, time just challenged magnificently. And 
City coming away with it. Can they open things up? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Holland. They could nudge in front. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Miguel Almiron. Really getting stuck in. Good looking sequence. Chance to cross. again from the flank and quick thinking defensively and there we have it that brings to an end the first half here at the Etihad well, Erling Haaland not quite up to his usual lofty standards in the first half Stuart I think that would be fair it certainly wasn't his best half of football he was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times but we know he can do much better so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45 So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Trippier. And on the ball is Cher. Miguel Almiron. Longstaff. Guimaraes. times they make passing look easy oh good vision and a goal one nil it is they've been pushing for the opener and now they have it well as the replay shows this is all about his ability to find space in the box which then makes the finish look so much easier that's good play from him. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Teammates available. But timely defending when it mattered. Here's Almiron. Long staff. Back with Almiron. Still trying to make something happen. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Holland. Phil Foden now it's a promising City move can he play it in Walker Rodri and that's what they needed Manchester City a goal to level matters here well I have to say he's done really well here he's in the right place and then a decent finish that's a good goal Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Longstaff. Bruno Guimaraes. And Newcastle pushing forward with options available. Yeah. 
Almiron. Long staff. Very effective passing sequence. Chance to take the lead. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Kevin De Bruyne. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Alvarez. City move it forward with purpose. Oh, breezing past him. Well, maybe I wrote him off too quickly. Good defending in the end. Miguel Almiron. The ball with Rodri. They might be able to get in now. Rodri. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Gordon. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, these City fans are demanding more from their team. They need to find a goal from somewhere. Ten minutes to go, then. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And having a go! Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And short it is. Just the challenge that was required. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Manchester City have work to do, but is it going to happen for them? No oh, danger here. And getting in the way of that superb defensive play. De Bruyne. Well, he's been ruled offside. A change in the offing for City. Alvarez on to Holland determined defending time is against Manchester City but still they could hit back but quick thinking defensively And so there we have it, the final whistle, and Manchester City have lost this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.
The magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. A warm welcome to Old Trafford. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. And we've got live Premier League action for you today. It's Manchester United and they face Nottingham Forest. Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully I've not just cursed it. Here's how Manchester United line up. Andre Onana is in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane as centre-backs. And they'll play with a lone striker up front. Nicolas Dominguez. It looks the right ball. Using his body well to keep the ball. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Casimiro. Fernandez. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. And play has been stopped here with an injury to be treated. Traditional way, a drop ball. Marcus Rashford, well read to gain possession. Bruno Fernandes is a leader and very much a modern midfielder. He can defend and attack in equal measure. Is he going to play a prominent role in this game? Well, for me, it's the way he combines with his teammates, always wants the ball. Once he's passed it, he's on the move, wants it back again. He's a pleasure to watch. I'm sure we'll see more of that today. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. This is Lindelof. to spark the attack further into life here. Lindelof. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Anthony Elanga. One and two touch passing, making it look easy. Promising looking attack, this. Brilliant. More of that, please. For the lead now. Here it is. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Well, it was a great save, that, from the keeper. Showed his agility there to keep the ball out. It's a real important save to keep it all square. But that's a really sharp bit of goalkeeping. Dominguez. Very quick to close down. Anthony. And unable to retain possession. Callum Hudson Adoy.
still all square. Can they make this pressure count? And in the end, all that possession counts for little. Dallo. Working hard to win it back there. Looking to put the cross in. To edge ahead. They've gone in front. A key moment in the match. Well, here we can see it again, and it's a lovely technique just to get that bend and spin on the ball. The keeper can do nothing about it, to be honest. United get us moving again then, with a swift response required. Casimiro. Dallo. Varane. Here's Maguire. Victor Lindelof. Now with Casimiro. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Manchester. Well, he's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Yeah, and I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled that into them, you know, keep focused and keep playing through to the whistle. And it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. The second half kicks off with Manchester United needing to turn this game around. Well, can United take advantage of this set piece? The noise levels have just gone up. I think they sense that this is an equaliser coming. It's a big opportunity, this. Corner kick played in. Oh, brilliant improvisation, but just off the mark. Oh, the audacity to even attempt that nearly paid off. Would have been a spectacular goal. Ball back with Manchester United now. Casimiro. Bruno Fernandes. Anthony. The defence has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Chris Wood. Chance now for a quick transition. Callum hudson Adoy, Just waiting for the moment to break through. And it's on now. Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Bolly. Gibbs White. Willy Bolly. Dominguez. Victor Lindelof. Now Harry Maguire. Varane. Now Lindelof, Rashford, the ball has 
been lost. United moving forward with options available. And that's a shame for them, nothing doing. Dominguez. That's an Odoi. Well, as soon as they won the ball back there was an almighty roar. The fans are trying to push the team forward and get an equaliser. Yogo Dallo. Varane. This is Dallo. Victor Lindelof. Bruno Fernandes. Lindelof. United recovering possession well. Casimiro. Bruno Fernandes. Varan. Now Dallo. Anthony. Dallo. Casimiro. Varane. Casimiro. This is Lindelof. And a real sense of urgency here. Could they equalise from this? Chance to deliver into the box. Well, he's kept that out nicely. Over it comes. And there is proof that pure force isn't always the answer. It needed a more subtle touch. Maybe not, that was well read to cut it out. Christian Eriksen, look they take advantage here, time's starting to be the enemy now. Deliver a good ball in. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating one here for United, far from their best, and it's three points dropped. Yeah, it was a disappointing performance from them. They give the ball away too many times for me. Didn't play with the intensity we're used to seeing. They'll need to recover quickly from this, though. There have been a few good performances out there today, but of all the players on show, he's one that's really caught the eye. Yeah, he gave those defenders a torrid time, got his goal, the all-important one, and created plenty of chances too. He certainly deserves the plaudits today.
This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? All the action coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Hello everyone, Anfield looking radiant today, the sun shining brightly. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Liverpool and they take on Sheffield United. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Liverpool then in position of menace. He's using his strength to good effect. Oh, but they've lost it now. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. into the meat of the penalty area. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Well, chatting with a few of the fans outside the stadium, Stuart, they were expecting to see three or four goals and a comfortable victory. And you can understand why they were so optimistic. And you can understand, Derek, why they're in great voice. They've been excellent here. I think they'll have too much for their opponents today. It should be a comfortable win. Read it well. Andrew Robertson. Alexis McAllister. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. The cross is on. They look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Credit to him for the challenge and the throw in conceded. Jaden Bogle. Norwood. And it's with Robinson. Norwood. a challenge Andrew Robertson and Diaz has it back to Diaz crossing possibilities can he put them in front oh no he's missed the opportunity and they remain level well he just lacked composure there didn't he they should be ahead now McAllister Curtis Jones Sobosloy Well, it's pass after pass keeping their opponents thinking Well, it was a good looking sequence but it comes to an end Jaden Bogle Mason Holgate with it Bogle and unable to keep possession Virgil van Dijk now with Alexander Arnold Sir Bosloy it's neat passing confidence on the ball the crowd encouraging him to take it on now just the tackle that was needed Archer 
Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Alexis McAllister. Van Dijk with it. Salah. Mo Salah. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And possession given away. Amer. Archer. Very quick thinking there. Luis Diaz. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Diaz. And players waiting in the centre. Can they jump in front? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Bogle. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Holgate. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. Kicked off the second half here at Anfield. And a strong tackle. Doing everything possible to keep possession. Ibrahima Konase. Darwin Nunez. McAllister. So Bosloy, really fine piece of defending play to break us up. <laughs> Ahmed Hodzic. The timing was perfect, ball one. And they need to get tighter here. Textbook defending inside the box. Jaden Bogle. And Liverpool regaining possession here. Alexis McAllister. McAllister. And Diaz has it. Liverpool sloppy in possession. minutes to go then and using his strength to shield the ball Nunez he's very adept at protecting the ball a spot on with that challenge really pressing their opponents well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches Archer, Hamer, Ben Brereton, just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance, but then the one that fails to hit its target. Luis Diaz, McAllister, and on to Alexander-Arnold. Alexis McAllister. So Bosloy using his strength to shield the ball. Salah. 
element of risk there but he's won the ball Ahmed Hodzic Holgate Brereton Bogle how about the cross? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, if Liverpool score now, this place will erupt. The fans have been brilliant today. Luis Diaz. So Bosloy. Well, it's such an eye-catching series of passes. And here come Liverpool, a goal at this late stage, might settle things. Mo Salah, must take the lead here, oh he's been foiled, how pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there, that could be their last opportunity. Taken short. Delivery from Salah here, and what a magical save it was! And time for the change now. Who can they pick out? Ran it well, cleared it well. Oliver Norwood and just five minutes remaining splendid tackle and a throw in coming up and they're making a change Challenge holds them in their tracks. Wataru Endo. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Liverpool trying to click into an attacking gear with the game level in the closing moments. Salah. On to Alexander Arnold. the strength to hang on to it that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up So away they go again, the first period of extra time and it's legitimate to us to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Vogel. Ben Brereton. Norwood. Gustavo Hammer. Oliver Norwood. On to Hammer. Trusty. Now McBurney. Ahmed Hodgic. Ben Brereton. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Cuts it back. Oh, great defending. Grafenberg. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. 
Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. That's right, and priority number one here is to win the ball back. Trusty, promising attack this. Ben Brereton. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Wataru Endo. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. them high marks for their passing but can they make this pressure count Gakpo and this is Diogo Jota now and Sheffield United regaining possession and the search goes on for a winner time is tight oh could be an opportunity here oh surely and a goal the golden goal to finish this contest once and for all and no wonder they're celebrating pure drama here well here's the replay he's done well to get his head up pick out a teammate while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing what a goal A stadium alive with atmosphere and two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes. We're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football fans everywhere. And if you think you know who's going to win, you are courageous indeed. Live on EA TV. It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Fulham, and they face Bournemouth. 
Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And they look as though they want to make this move count. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he comes into this game full of confidence because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but his general play made him the best player on the pitch by a long way. Well, great attacking play. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Palinha Castagna and the challenge halts them in their tracks Dominic Solanke took a really smart piece of defending to stop them Bobby Reid Pereira Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. He's moving quite gingerly because his foot is sore because he got trodden on in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. Kleivert. Options in the middle. Soranke. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. This looks promising out wide. Tom Kearney. Robinson. Only natural that the attack should go through William. Moving the ball impressively here. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Dominic Solanke. Semenyo. Nicely timed tackle. Robinson. Ream with it. Tom Kearney. Now, what can Willian do? It's an intelligent run. A fine reading of the situation. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second, and a throw-in conceded. Pereira. On to Castagna. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. De Cordova Reed. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Kleibert. Antoine Semenyo. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Kearney and now with William really effective shielding under pressure cutting the ball back can he put it in splendid defending Lloyd Kelly and there we have it we've reached the halfway mark now here by the banks of the Thames
Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Tim Ream. And on the ball, Kearney. Castagna. Balinha. Robinson, William, into the advanced position, determined defending, Senesi, Semenyo, Christie, Kleibert, Now with Solanke. Here's Kleibert. Well timed tackle. William. Rodrigo Muniz. And return to William. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And into the last 30 minutes now. Lewis Cook. Here's Kleibert. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Moving forward effectively. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Pereira. William and on the ball Kearney how about the cross very quick thinking there Fulham recovering possession well well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Yes, that's the wish of everyone. Let's see if they can forge ahead from this next attack. De Cordova Reed. Palinha. William might take the lead. Must finish. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Romain Fèvre. Oh, 
Lewis Cook. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point, and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. This might be ideal for the counter. Might work out. Big opportunity. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Christie. Senesi. Now with Ryan Christie. Clivert. Can he get one back? Oh, he wasn't necessarily favourite to win that challenge. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And we are going to have two additional minutes. The attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It is Chelsea, they take on West Ham United and it's live. Hello and welcome. A lot of excitement here at Stamford Bridge because it's a London derby that we have to bring you, namely Chelsea against West Ham. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former West Ham player Stuart Robson. Stuart, prospects for this game, what do you think? Well, from a West Ham point of view, Derek, they're going to have to get their tactics absolutely right. If they play well, close the ball down and stop Chelsea playing, this could be a really tight game. Other one. And it might be... There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say.
ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Lucas Paqueta. It's with Emerson. Ward Prowse. Tomas Socek. Now with Paqueta. Socek. Kurt Zuma. Edson Alvarez. Here is Zuma. Socek. Mavropanos. Here is Zuma. Edson Alvarez. There to take it away. Gallagher. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. And still looking for space. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Lucas Paqueta. This looks more than decent. Part of the final analysis, it was good defending. Lucas Paqueta. It's with Emerson. Ward Prowse. So far. The ball with James Ward Prowse. Vladimir Sofa. Mavropanos. Tomas Socek. Here is Zuma. On the ball, Mavropanos. Socek. Getting forward. Mavropanos. Ball with James Ward Prowse. Tomas Socek. Vladimir Sofal. And defending as a unit. Palmer. Palmer with it. Moises Caicedo. Oh, surely. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Kudus. Sterling, on to Nkunku. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Mohamed Kudus. West Ham recovering possession. Tomas Socek. Alvarez now. Socek. Edson Alvarez. Tomas Socek. Ball with James Ward-Prowse. 
Alvarez now. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Jared Bowen. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, I think it's fair to say Christopher Nkunku is excelling out there and he's been a joy to watch. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. So off and running again, and there was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second? Not a good pass. Sterling takes it forward and in a perfect position to cut it out. Vladimir Sofal. On the ball, Mavropanos. Paqueta. looking attack from West Ham a fine reading of the situation so far Mavropanos Kurt Zuma Alvarez now Emerson. Edson Alvarez. On the ball, Emerson. Kurt Zuma. So check. A fine use of the ball. Can he get one back? Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Moises Caicedo, Malo Gusto, Caicedo, successfully cut out, 20 minutes to go in this one, Tomasz Socek, on the ball Mavropanos, well, moving the ball around nicely as they try to get themselves back within a goal, So far, Tomasz Socek in possession, Bowen, he knew he had to make the tackle and did. Di Sassi, Conor Gallagher, Chilwell. Moises Caicedo. Malo Gusto. Real determination in the challenge. A throw in here. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches.
Fernandes. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Moving forward effectively. A delicious piece of skill. And a strong tackle. Five minutes left. Emerson. Disappointing for West Ham to give it away like that. Might be a chance to break. Gallagher. And he stopped them in their tracks. Jared Bowen. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top draw. All the action coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for joining us here at Goodison Park. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Everton versus Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Guy. Well, I can't wait for this one. Both sets of fans are certainly up for it. I'm sure that that'll give the players a real boost. They'll be hoping to start the game at a fast tempo. This is how Everton line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker. But you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. This is the Spurs starting lineup. Son Heung-min starts with Dejan Kulosevsky in the wide positions. And the main man in attack is Richarlison. Odogi. Read the pass well and cuts it out. Moving the ball forward, what can they do with this? But able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. Son. Bisuma. Dogi Madison Bisuma Great rhythm, there's a real flow here Eve Bisuma Pat Matasar 
Porro. Nice possession. Lovely weighted pass, but it was being tracked all the way. But it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, that's pretty tamely given away. A promising looking attack from Spurs. Charlison to put them ahead. Oh, superb. Right place, great save. Oh, it's a wonderful save. It comes at him quickly, very little time to react, but he just manages to keep it out. It's great goalkeeping. Here it comes. It's in. Deadlock broken. And just how crucial could that prove to be? Well, here we can see it again, and the delivery from the corner is spot on. And that's a great technique, exactly how you get taught to head the ball as a kid. It's a good finish. So off we go at 1-0. Harrison. And he's beaten his man here. the space to whip it in here quick into the tackle and the result is a throw Horro Madison Eve Bissouma Happy to just keep the ball in their own half. Destiny Odogi. Bisuma. Pedro Porro. Dejan Kulusevski. And possession given away. Calvert Lewin. Dwight McNeil. Albert Lewin. This to level it. A really promising attack has come to naught. Being pressed here. Madison. Odogi. Eve Bissouma. Destiny Odogi. That's a throw in. They'll have to win the ball all over again. Madison. Song Hyung Min. Moving the ball well here. Looking to extend the lead. Kulusevski. Turn around in possession. Excellent positioning. Dwight McNeil. Getting into a good position. And that's where it ends. Kulusevski. Pedro Porro. Romero. Horror. Pass after pass. Happy just to keep possession for now. Bisuma. And the ref's whistle brings to an end the first half here at Goodison. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, he's played well and the goal will be the standout moment, but I've been so impressed with his work rate too. I'm sure he'll want to keep that intensity up in the second half. Oh. 
So Spurs in front as the second half starts. Plenty of time for a few twists and turns to come. Amadou Onana. Vitali Mikalenko. Ben Godfrey. Harrison. Tarkovsky. Calvert Lewin. Still patient here, but they need to find an equalizer. But unable to find the killer pass in the end. James Madison. Richarlison. Bissouma. Son. Yet to find a way to goal. But it will now be tidied up and cleared away. Amadou Onana. Delay to Kore. Ben Godfrey. Onana. Amadou Onana. James Tarkovsky. Godfrey. Jack Harrison. Oh, might be in here. Still trying to find the space. And it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper. Well, the crowd are looking to really give the players a boost. They know that this is a big chance to pull level. They go short with the corner. Doesn't want to lose it now. Oh, superb save. He's done so well to keep that out. Godfrey. Onana. Tarkovsky. Abdullah Dukore. This is a promising looking attack. Albert Lewin. Good work to regain possession. Now there could be a chance to counter. Put under real pressure there, and it counted. Decore. Onana. James Tarkovsky. Amadou Onana. Vitali Mikalenko. Onana. Ducore. Well read to gain possession. The counter looks on here. Options available. Madison. No time here. Spurs recovering possession well. 
saved and held on to as well. And it might not stay away from their goal long after that. Has to be. Oh, that's how to win the ball. Andre Gomez. Well, as soon as they won the ball back there was an almighty roar. The fans are trying to push the team forward and get an equaliser. Still pushing forward in search of the equaliser. Picks out a teammate. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day here for Everton, far from at their best. And it's three points dropped. Yes, yeah, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little off the pace for me. Obviously a disappointing result, but the key thing is that they bounce back now as they can't afford the repeat next time out. Well, we know what a good player he is and he's really showed it today. What's your verdict, Sue? Yeah, he played well. Real vital goal too. They just struggled to cope with his quality today. A special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. This is EA TV. If you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, the front three are really good in tight areas. They link up well, they play little one-twos, and they move the ball quickly. But unless the fullbacks get forward, the team lacks attacking width. Ezzy. Guehi. Mitchell. Chris Richards. Good strength to keep the ball. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And foul it is then. Again. 
had no interest in losing possession. Richards. Strong play here. Munoz. Joel Ward. So deflection, and it will be a throw in. Are you? So now a corner. Let's see about the delivery. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. Nelson Semedo. Kilman. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Oh, what an opportunity. Big chance it is. Foiling his opponent completely. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Blocked. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Tyrick Mitchell. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And the defensive intervention there. Are you? Now with Lerma. Ezzy. Richards. Munoz. Chris Richards. Wolves have it once again. Wang Hee Chan. Determined defending. Anderson. Sloppy in possession from Palace. Lemina. And here's Cunha. Very quick thinking there. Mitchell. Chris Richards. Munoz. Richards. Ward now. Jefferson Lerma. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Mitchell. And he's won the ball. And that is going to be all for the first 45 here at Selhurst Park. So back underway here into the second half. A spot on with that challenge. Le 
Lamina. Max Kilman. Nelson Semedo has it. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And a decent position for Wolves to be in. Craig Dawson. Max Kilman. Nicely timed tackle. Ezzy. Nelson Semedo. Here's Lamina. Wang He Chan. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Jefferson Lerma. Well, it's gone out of play under real duress. Craig Dawson. And a fine tackle. Nelson Semedo. Ezzy. Lemina. Nelson Semedo. Pablo Sarabia. Nelson Semedo has it. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Nelson Semedo into the final 20 minutes. Pablo Sarabia. A chance to whip it in. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. And he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Jefferson Lerma. We're inside the final 15 minutes. Guehi. Here's Anderson. Jefferson Lerma. Anderson. Joel Ward. Now with Mateta. What can he do with it now? Cutting the ball back. A good and fair challenge. That's a good looking ball. Well, it's a good reflection. That'll be a corner. Time for a change then.
Corner kick played in. And clearing his lines. Well, high quality defending. Pablo Sarabia. Plenty of space for Wolves out wide. But timely defending when it mattered. Mitchell. In possession, Dawson. Really getting stuck in. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, just look at this. He keeps his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net. That's a very good goal. So back underway following the equaliser. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And he did well to cut it out. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over. And nothing to choose between the sides. the ball rolling again no end to the action it's the first period of extra time and I must say this has been a back and forth type of game oh good play this will this corner bear fruit for them Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Schloop. A real struggle to contain him. Mateus Cunha. Ryan Ait Nuri. Really determined play to hang on to it. Lemina. Good interception. Are you Munoz? Mateus Cunha. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here.
Good tackle, take it away. Well, these fans are pushing their team on here. They sense a winner's coming. All even, but will it stay that way? Jefferson Lerma. Outrageously skillful. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Sarabia. Here's Lamina. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Ahamada. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Regained possession. Schluck. In terms of added time, a minimum of one minute on the attack. Is there to be late excitement? It should be! And denied by the post. Well, nothing untoward happened. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, and he's denied them from the spot. And it's gone in. Can he convert? And the penalty converted here. Oh, he saved it. Oh, a superb save. In it goes. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. And he scores. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. And there it is. Perfectly executed. A goal here to finish it. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. A mountain of pressure on him, but he withstands the test, and they've gone and won it. Well, cool, composed, and really good technique. A match-winning penalty, and probably deserved over the course of the game.
this is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Luton Town and they face Bournemouth. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, in this formation, it's the fullbacks who have to get forward to provide the width because the midfield and front players stay very narrow, but it should allow them to control the middle of the park where they are dominant. Well, possibilities in the centre. Barkley, can he put it away? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Oh, really careless. They might be in. That is a tackle and a half. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it's his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Christie. Here's Clagat. Senesi. Lloyd Kelly. Kelly. Tavernier. So to dispossess your opponent. Lokonga. And the emphasis is on creativity. And strong play here. And then with a real chance. The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. One nil then. Marcus Tavernier. Possession one. In position here to protect the ball. Oh, but they've lost it now. Tavernier. Senesi. Christie. And Adam Smith on the ball. Clivert. Lewis Cook. Lloyd Kelly. And here now is Lewis Cook. Kelly. Not showing good patience. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Lokonga. Morris. Barkley with it. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Smith. Semenyo. Senesi.
Ilya Zabani. Kleibert. Tavernier. Barkley. And in the right position to read it. Well, good run and good ball control. But I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. Tavernier. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Lokonga the first half here comes to an end this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Lokonga Amari Bell showing patience as well as persistence in the build up it's there for him and in range oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack Ilya Zabani Antoine Semenyo. Now with Ryan Christie. Well, that's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. Really good challenge. And a chance to whip it in here. Amari Bell. And now with Kabore. He's going forward well here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. So a personnel change then. To the box it goes and he's done it parity again a magnificent game unfolding let's see this again because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better played into just the right area which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Barkley. Morris. This looks promising out wide. Really good build-up, but no end product.
Kleibert. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Jordan Clark. Good example of pressing without the ball. 20 minutes to go. Kelly. Lewis Cook. Well, no way through. Barkley. And providing width. A disappointing end to the move. Lewis Cook. Kelly. And Adam Smith on the ball. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Senesi. Now with Scott. Lewis Cook. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Ilya Zabani. Now with Scott. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Opportunity. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Marcus Tavernier. Lunal. Kleibert. Able to close down the shot. And time for the change now. And played short. Ilya Zabanyi. Must be! Oh, they really might regret that. Well, what a big chance that was. That was the game right there. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And there to intervene. Jordan Clark. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.
Two massive clubs with magnificent stories to tell down the years. And today they find themselves on the same pitch. Arsenal and Manchester United here at the Emirates. Action coming up live. Great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal up against Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Kai Havertz starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Keeping it moving dynamically. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Harry Maguire plays alongside Raphael Varane in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. William Saliba. They do pass the ball with authority. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes finally. Well, Arsenal certainly know how to put the ball in the back of the net. In fact, they are the highest scoring team in the entire league, Stuart. Well, the movement of the front players is key. They're always threatening the space behind the opposition. And when the ball does go wide, they work so hard to find that bit of room away from their markers. They've been brilliant and these fans have been treated to some great football. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Go kick. Martin Nerdegaard and here's Saliba Gabriel well they have the ball once more encouraging stuff from United doing well to keep possession He fancies it. And the deflection there before it went over the byline. Going to be a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Chance maybe. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, that could prove to be a massive moment in the game. Just when it looked as though United were going to take the lead, the goalkeeper has produced a wonderful save. Jesus. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Good defending at the end, and danger averted for now. And they've given him too much space. Options in the centre. Casimiro. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Gabriel Jesus. It's with Erdogan. An encouraging Arsenal move. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Diogo Dallo, Maguire, Diogo Dallo on the ball, Bruno Fernandes, he's managed to lose his marker,
Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Casimiro. Rashford! Well, they're going to feel, aren't they, that that was an opportunity squandered. Well, from that position, it should be 1-0 now. Great chance for them. William Saliba. And Kai Havertz. Still passing it around with authority. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Havertz. Well, there it is, the half-time whistle, and Arsenal find themselves level at the halfway stage. What have you made of it so far? Well, after talking about how good their attacking play is, they've just been below their best today, but let's give some credit to the opposition. They've had a game plan, it's worked well, and they've been difficult to play against. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Delivering it. Not really the ideal clearance. Rice. A good and fair challenge. Rafael Varane. Lindelof now. Lindelof. Bruno Fernandes has it. Casemiro. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Dallo. He could pick out a teammate. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Gabriel. It's with Erdogan. Ben White. 30 minutes to go then. William Saliba. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel, Martin Erdogan, a well, credit to him for the challenge and the throw-in conceded, there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Martin Erdogan. Bukayo Saka. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Jorginho! 
And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener. Casemiro. Anthony. And it's with Amrabat. Sofian Amrabat. Harry Maguire now. 20 minutes remaining. And it's with Amrabat. More than decent this from United. Rashford. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Declan Rice. Ben White. That is Gabriel Jesus. Martin Erdegaard. And defending as a unit. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes has it. Anthony. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Rashford. And ball back with Arsenal now. And putting his body on the line. Jorginho! Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Anthony. The clock is against Manchester United here, but their dreams remain alive. Determined defending. Bukayo Saka. succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating well let's see this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best but the keeper should do better at his near post that's gone in far too easily that's not good goalkeeping Two nil now and back on the way. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating.
This is it, a can't-miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage. What a prospect. Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. Hello and welcome from Villa Park. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary along with Sue Smith. And we've got live Premier League action for you today. It's Aston Villa and they play Brentford. Thanks, Guy. Well, I can't wait for this one. Both sets of fans are certainly up for it. I'm sure that that'll give the players a real boost. They'll be hoping to start the game at a fast tempo. Here's today's Aston Villa team. Yeah, looks like they've lined up in a 4-4-2 and they do look balanced in this system. You can defend deep, stay compact, bring the opposition forward, then hit them quickly on the counter-attack. Well, this is mesmerising to watch. Such good possession. Christopher Ayer. Vitaly Janelt. Ben Mee. Sergio Regulon. Neil Mopar, Jensen, pushing forward with options available now, but able to deal with the danger decisively, well defended. Musa Diaby. This is who I've been looking forward to seeing most today. Are we going to see him play a prominent role here soon? Well, he's rapid, isn't he? I'm not sure there's many players that are going to match him for pace. And once he's away, there's no stopping him. All the best marking him today. Matty Cash. Nice bit of defending there to put it out for a throw. That is literally a throwaway of possession. Moreno. Torres. Alex Moreno. Nothing to split the sides, but this move is looking promising. Disappointing end to a good spell on the ball. A little wayward with the pass, and that'll be a throw in. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Bit of a squeeze on here. Genuine chance. And how has that been kept out? Oh, no idea. You just expected it to go in from there, but the keeper had other ideas. It's a top class save. Short corner taken. The RB cut back nicely. Oh, lovely skill to beat his marker. Oh, to edge ahead. Oh, super challenge. He stopped a certain goal. Moreno. Jacob Ramsey. Douglas Luiz. Alex Moreno. Ramsey. Moreno. Onto Torres. Moving it forward with purpose. Something on, maybe. John McGinn. Untidy in possession there. Sergio Regulon, me, Vitali Janelt, Mopai, they won't take it from him there, oh that's not properly away, 
was looking good, but there it's ended. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score here. Certainly piling the pressure on now. Really should be ahead. Keeping it nicely, waiting for the chance to get themselves in front. And they've lost it now. Leon Bailey. Again. Good work to recover possession. Just needs the composure now. John McGinn. Esri Consa. And that brings the first half to a close here at Villa Park. And he hasn't hit the heights we know he's capable of to this point. He can only get better from here on in. Yeah, he needs to do more for me. He's been a bit off it. I think his movement can be better too. But I also think his teammates can find him quicker. He's certainly the key to them winning this game. Away we go then, and things can only get better from an entertainment point of view. Nathan Collins. Christian Nurgar. Jan Elt. Careless there as the ball changes hands. Nathan Collins. Regular. Neil Mopai. Work pays off as they get the ball back. The RB. Matty Cash. Options available in the middle. Bailey. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Christopher Ayer. Vitali Janelt. Ben Mee. Sergio Regulon. Regulon. Could be something happening for them now. Yarby. Douglas Louise. John McGinn. Working hard to win it back there. Moreno. A chance to get something going here. Diaby! What a stop! Razor shot! Oh, talk about reactions. How good were his then? It's such close range. That's a brilliant save. Using his strength well. Matty Cash. Esri Konsa. 
Bailey. This is a lovely spell on the ball. But not really going anywhere fast with it. Tony. Needs a good ball in. They need to be better on the ball than that. Collins. Me. Sergio Regulon. Ben Me. Regulon. Vitali Janelt. Me. Really nice tempo to this move. Regulon. Ben Me. Sergio Regulon. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. Well, the fans have been frustrated at times today, but they know the team need them. So those noise levels have just gone up for one final push. Edging ever closer to goal here. Douglas Luiz. That's good physical play. What a chance! And it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper. And the corner is fired in. And there goes the final whistle. It's all over. Plenty of space to attack now. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. Matty Cash. Bailey. Still all square. Can they make this pressure count? Nurgon. Jensen. Wissa. A really good interception to take the ball. Moving forward under no real pressure. That's where any chance of anything developing disappears. Dean. And so the first half of extra time comes to a close.
thwarted. Wissa. And possession given away. Able to deliver a good ball in. What a chance this could be to potentially win the game from this corner. They've gone with a short one. Drifting in off the flank. Doesn't want to lose it now. Me. Matthias Jensen. Aya. Me. Jensen. Looks a good ball. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. This looks really good. Could we see a winning goal? And the whistle sounds. We're going to a shootout. Good penalty. Oh, superbly done. The goal to even try that. It's in. No messing. Scores. Found the corner perfectly. And he can turn away having done his bit. It's been saved. And the keeper does what he's there to do. And it's been put away. And clinical from the spot. And straight down the middle. Good penalty. And it's in. A really confident take. It's in. No messing. And it's saved! The keeper, the hero in the shootout. Well, so often it's a guessing game, but he's guessed right here. It's a good stop, you have to say. He probably deserved it overall, just about edged it for me.
The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. And we'll have the action live on EA TV. Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, the front three are really good in tight areas. They link up well, they play little one-twos, and they move the ball quickly. But unless the fullbacks get forward, the team lacks attacking width. Davies has to Pignan. Dunk on the ball. Gilmore. Joao Pedro. Pascal Gross. Perfect challenge. Ayu. Now with Mateta. Well back. He continues his run. He might yet finish. Clear deflection and a corner now. Short one. That's the strength to hang on to it. Pedro. A really effective shielding under pressure. Pascal Gross. Oh, managing to beat him. That's right. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. And they get the ball moving again. Can Palace come up with an answer here? Anderson. Munoz. Joel Ward. Ezzy. Anderson. Now with Lerma. Mitchell and Lerma Tyrick Mitchell surely the equaliser Lerma moving the ball effectively are you Making progress. Superbly read and executed. Well, that clearance was of the no-nonsense variety. And a throw-in now. Well, they kept their shape defensively. Job done for now.
Billy Gilmore. Jan Paul van Hecke. And Feltman with it here. Well, it can be so difficult to play against a confident passing team when you're trailing. Van Hecke. On to Gilmore. Estupinian. Mitoma. And now with Estupinian. Billy Gilmore. It's with Welbeck. Pascal Gross. Really good challenge. He's in control of the situation. Good looking sequence. And holding it up effectively. Joel Feldman. Dunk on the ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Chris Richards. So almost at the break here. I'm not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stewart. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, I have to say, that's a brilliant finish. He wraps his foot around the ball and curls it brilliantly. I'm not sure the keeper could do anything about that. The referee's whistle, and that means the first half is over here in South London. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was a vital goal, and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Just challenged magnificently. It's a good palace move in the making. Mitchell. It's got to be! Well, he could have put it away again, but credit to the goalkeeper. Well, the way he's playing, he's surely going to get his second goal soon here. for the short corner he read the situation defensively and did his job Pervis Estupinian Estupinian dunk on the ball James Milner has given it away Mitoma What can they do from here? And with that, the attack fizzles out. 
And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Ezzy. Well, that was incisive. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Joel Feldman. It's with Welbeck. Nicely timed tackle. Joel Ward. Chris Richards. Uehi. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Perfect challenge. Milner. Oh, good looking run. And defensive play to be applauded. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, two one it is here. Mark Guehi. Now with Lerma. Ezzi. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Richards. Joel Ward. Munoz. On to Anderson. Ezzy. Jefferson Lerma. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? Just the tackle that was needed. Welbeck. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Well back! Just couldn't get it through. And the flag does go up, offside. So making the substitution now. <laughs> Ezzy. Ahamada. They know what they need, and that's an equaliser here. But they took care of the situation defensively. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Mitoma. Milner. And that will be all. A disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace. Stuart, where did it go wrong? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.